um, what I'm doing in Tilburg is economic psychology. That means, uh, yeah, I'm a psychologist by training, but I worked in economics departments in Erasmus University, Rotterdam, and now in Tilburg. And my job actually is to tell economists that uh, economics is a social science <laughs> and not mathematics only and not econometricians only. Let's see. Um, if you are a consumer, investor, entrepreneur, and uh, you read newspapers, uh, you see the news, and uh, you read about economic events, and you get some concerns about issues, economic issues, but also social issues, issues about security, safety, etc. And all those issues, in a sort of combination, uh, create a, what we call confidence. And confidence, in this case, is different from trust. A trust is you trust a person or you trust a bank, and that's not a story. And confidence means you are confident about the future, you are confident uh, about your own situation, and you think that the economic situation will develop in a positive direction or a negative direction, and you act accordingly. Uh, that means that the willingness to spend or to save is mainly uh, a matter of confidence. On the other hand, you have your income, what we call discretionary income, the income you are free to spend uh, after you have paid everything you have to pay. Uh, and that is also a factor that influences your saving and economic behavior. So we are mainly interested then in consumer confidence because that's the factor, the psychological factor in economics. Here is the zero line that all observations are now in the negative. That means uh, people are very negative about their personal financial situation, uh, minus 20. They are even more negative about the national economy. It's minus 50 or minus 60. Even uh, in the beginning of the last year, it was minus 60. At the moment, it's about uh, minus 40, 42 at the moment. And consumer confidence is the average of the two. So it's always in the middle of the green line and the uh, uh, blue line. Okay, what do people do when they have a very uh, low confidence and when they are negative? They wait and see. Uh, at the moment you see a lot of uncertainty, people wait. What's the price of my house? No, maybe it's not a good time to buy another house. I cannot sell my house. Uh, people are uncertain about housing. People are uncertain about income and pensions. So the typical reaction is wait and see. Maybe, uh, maybe next year we can do this. Wait and see. If next year will be better, Okay, then uh, we might expect that if people stop waiting and seeing, uh, when they start spending, there will be an enormous amount of money to be spent because people are saving uh, quite a lot. At the moment, the saving quote is 340 billion uh, euros. Okay, how to improve this? Um, which is just suggestions. It is not, not really one solution. But I think you should provide positive news, optimistic expectations about the future. That means uh, not only negative news, people wait for Princess Dog, and again they hear uh, that uh, taxes will go up and income might go down, and they remain uncertain. Consumers need new evidence or proof that the economic situation is improving. That means it's not only one sign that it's enough, one signal, they need more, they need a number of signals, and then they start to believe, okay, maybe we have had the worst and uh, the next year might be better. Uh, and they need this uh, information from independent sources. Point four means, and that's I think an interesting thing, uh, I'll come back to that, that the majority of the households perceive themselves as a, an exception to the rule, as a sort of positive exception to the rule. They read the newspapers and they see on TV that things are going wrong in Holland or are not very positive, but at the same time they see themselves as a positive exception to that. Uh, I think that 70% or maybe even 75 or 80% of the people are in that situation that they are exceptions to the rule in a sort of positive way. And that, that's, that's strange. Uh, that uh, most people are better off than the average. Uh, it's the same way that most people might say I'm a better driver, car driver, than average. Um, and my proposal would be, um, and that's point six, uh, there was a campaign this summer by an advertising agency, G. Walter Thompson, and they had a campaign, maybe I've seen it, Nederland, Wereldland, which was to promote uh, people to be proud of the Netherlands. Uh, they could not use this uh, Trots of Nederland because that was already claimed by another person uh, before. Uh, but actually that was the topic, huh? to be proud of the Netherlands, 
And in that way, uh, they thought, if people are proud of the Netherlands and see Holland as a good country, maybe they spend more and they are, get more confident and they uh, are willing to spend more. I think for the next wave of that campaign, and I'm also in that uh, group, uh, we have to use point four. Not to tell people that Holland is a good country and the economy is, is okay, but to tell them that the majority of the people are better off than average. If we could tell them that, and they could identify with that majority, except for, for people that have been come unemployed or had uh, other problems, but still the majority is better off than average. And I think that will be the theme for the next wave of that campaign. Not the nationalistic thing, but the, the better off uh, approach. Okay, yeah, I hope if you have any idea about how to solve this problem of low consumer confidence, I'd like to hear it. And uh, that will be an important thing, I think, to, to tell and to publish in the media. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Fred. <laughs> um, I must say, I'm, I'm totally fascinated between the difference in tone of you and Mariah. And I think the question on everybody's mind is, do you think Mariah's work has a positive or negative effect on consumer <laughs> confidence? <laughs> um, no. If things go out of hand, and you don't understand it anymore, and it uh, creates a known reality, I get a little unconfident about that. Uh, not a little, but a lot, actually. Because then you feel this, uh, this that the control is missing. Huh? You, you like self-control, you like to know what will happen, and you like to know what to do to make things happen, and if this doesn't exist anymore, I feel not very confident about it. Yeah. Mariah, are you... Are you aware of your effect on consumer confidence? And you made those. I, I never was, but um, 